guns will be allowed in classrooms at the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, this morning, I informed uh, Chancellor Bill McRaven and uh, notified the uh, University of Texas community of my decision on SB 11, uh, the campus carry legislation that uh, passed the legislature in the last session. At 11 days after the shooting at a college campus in Oregon, a professor at the University of Texas at Austin is making news. He's quitting his job at the school because of a new law that will soon allow concealed carry in Texas higher ed classrooms. I think it kind of impedes on the the environment that is education, that is college. Like you're supposed to be able to speak comfortably about you know controversial issues but you might not feel safe to do that not knowing how someone re would react if they like have a firearm and then for instance um i mean i think the biggest impact is on our safety and i think that's kind of where both sides of the argument stem from and in some ways i can see where both sides of the argument are coming from i don't know if it'll have um really too much of an effect uh i think it's really more the way I view it is, is more of a fairness thing. You know, you can pretty much carry anywhere else. Why not on campus? You know, it's not like campus is some kind of a sacred place, in my view. It's a, just an area of town. I kind of think it, it just impedes on the fact that campus has always felt like a safe place. Because um, I myself don't really think that more people having more guns would make me feel any safer at all. I think it's sort of an interesting thought experiment. On one side of the argument, it's kind of saying that, oh, this is creating a more safe environment for students because if a math shooter does decide to come into a classroom and start shooting people, then, you know, if people do have a concealed weapon, then they have a mechanism of defense. But I don't know, I think that's a very pointed hypothetical. So I'm a tour guide on campus and I get questions about campus carry a lot throughout my tours. A lot of parents are just in general concerned and they just don't know much about it. It's the thing they just want me to, you know, tell them about campus carry and what it means. Um, so when I tell them, you know, the facts that like you have to be over 21 to carry, uh, you have to have a concealed handgun license, you have to go through chaining anyway, um, so there probably won't be like a, a larger percent or at all of students who are going to be carrying. I mean, personally, I haven't seen it at all. Um, I don't think it will have much impact of, on the students. I think it'll blow over after a little while. I mean, you know, in Texas you can carry a gun everywhere off of campus and um, most students don't live or don't stay uh, on campus 24-7 and they're not too worried about it anywhere else. So I think once uh, the hype kind of settles down, people will forget about it. I want to say that the legislator had good intentions, but I think that they're ignoring pretty blatant um, instances of, you know, of events where gun control seems like the only possible option. They're simply ignoring that and thinking that this is going to help and thinking that the only way to take out a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Um, but I mean, they passed it or they put it into effect the same day as the 50th anniversary of the tower shooting. Um, so I think that means they had good intentions. I think they were thinking, oh, we're going to make campus safer. So let's remedy the wrong that happened 50 years ago with this law, but it really just added more salt to the wound for sure.